Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an interesting SQL interview question. The question is, you are given a list of numbers representing the number of emails in the inbox of Microsoft Outlook users. Before the product management team can start developing features related to bulk deleting emails or archiving inbox zero, they simply wanted to find mean, medium and more for the emails. Display the output of mean, medium and more with the mean rounded to the nearest integer. It should be assumed that there is no ties for the mode. We are given a table inbox stats which has two fields user ID and email count. Here is the sample data that is given which has set of user IDs and their respective email count. We have to display the mean, medium and the mode. Mean is calculated by adding all the emails and dividing by the number of users. So if you add all the email counts and divide it by 5, you will get the mean as 200. So we are displaying the output as 200. Mode is the value that occurs most frequently. In this email count, 200 is appeared 3 times. So our mode is 200. Similarly, median is calculated by the middle value of the ordered data set. So if you order the data set, you will get 100, 200, 200, 200, 300. Our middle value is 200. So we are populating the median as 200. I hope the question is clear. Now let's get into the implementation. Let's query our input table. Select star from inbox stats Let's query our table. Here is our input table, which has the list of user IDs and their email counts. If you see here, some of the email counts are same. For example, 200 is repeated three times. And if you see here, some of the other email counts are also repeated. Here, zero is repeated two times. As a first step, let's calculate the mode. The mode is the value that occurs most frequently. Let's find that. We are finding the email count. And we are displaying the count of users. group by email count now we will order the count in descending order order by count of user in descending Let me run this query. If you see here, 200 occurred three times, followed by 150 occurred two times. Now we want only the count which occurred most frequently. In order to display only the first row, I am going to limit by one. Now let me run this. I get only the email count to which is 200. Let me name the column name as mode. Now I will create this as a temporary table. With mode as, let me name my table name as mode table. Now let me select the table, select 
mode from mode table we will get only the value which is 200 the next step is to calculate the mean mean is the sum of all the email counts divided by the number of users which is nothing but the average email counts let's calculate the mean I'm going to name the temporary table as mean table as select average of email counts from inbox stats now let me select my table comma mean table I'm going to select the mean comma mean I don't have to make any joints between these tables because both the temporary tables will return a single value. Now let me run the query. We get the average email count. In order to remove the decimal, I am going to round up the result. Round of this average. Now let me run the query we get the mean without the decimals. The next step is to calculate the median. As we saw here, median is the middle value of the ordered data set. In order to find the median, let's order the data set that is 100, 200, 200, 200 and 300 First, using Ronum function, we will order the emails in ascending order. We will order it as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Next, using the same Ronum function, we will order the email counts in descending order. So, our first value will get the value 5 followed by 4. 3, 2 and 1. So, our middle value is this which is ascending minus the descending row num equals to 0. Let us assume that if we have another number, let us say 400, in this case the row num ascending will have 6 and the descending will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In this case, we have two middle values. The median is the average of middle two values which is 200. In order to find the middle two values, we can take absolute difference of row number ascending and row number descending. In this case, the absolute difference for these two values will be 1. So, we can easily find the middle two numbers and take the average. I hope the approach is clear. Let us implement the solution. First, we will create an intermediate table for median ascending. Let me name it as median ascending as select star from our input table comma row number one 
over order by email counts ascending i'm going to name this as rn ascending similarly i'm going to calculate the median descending median descending as row num over order by descending now in the next temporary table we will calculate the median i am going to name this as median table as select average of email counts i'm going to name this as median from median ascending and median descending i'm going to join both the tables using email counts i'm going to name this as a and d on a dot email counts equals to d dot email count this is email count email count is in both the tables so in order to remove the ambiguity i'm going to select from a dot email counts where the absolute difference between ascending and the descending is either 0 or 1 abs of r n ascending minus r n descending i'm going to name this as descending so i'm going to mention less than or equal to 1 now let me select the median from the median table i'm going to select median here also the subquery will return only a single value since we are calculating the average so we don't have to make any explicit join condition let me see if there is any error let's fix the error it is email count not email counts let me run now let's run it again we have to fix the table name median table let's run again we got the median in order to remove the decimals let me round up the result round of this average in our result we have to first display the mean median and mode let me fix that mean then followed by median and mode now let's run it we got the desired output now let's submit it our solution got accepted 
I hope you like this video and I'm sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting SQL interview question. Thank you.